Mount Auburn Street has about 19,000 vehicles a day, but it also has about 12,000 bus passenger trips per day. In the morning peak, there's actually more people on buses on this stretch of road than there are in actual cars that people drive separately. Right now, you have a lot of mixed traffic. You have buses within the normal travel lane, stopping at bus stops. You have left turn lanes that are not clearly marked or very easy for people to see in advance. And so you end up with a lot of conflict, a lot of people weaving in and out of lanes. The bus is stopping. It doesn't flow very well right now. A recent study showed that there's an expected significant growth in the population in the Boston region by 2030 by about, say, 430,000 residents. And what we've been working to do is how to figure out how to accommodate this kind of growth in a way that's sustainable and that helps to reduce and eliminate all traffic fatalities, to um, promote sustainable transportation and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And the public transit system is one of the most efficient ways to do that. So bus priority can mean a lot of things, but this project in particular involves a few um, specific elements of bus priority. So, the first thing that we want to do is allocate space for the buses. So that means uh, making dedicated lanes or a dedicated short section of lane called a queue jump and paint it red and say that only buses and shuttles and other um, vehicles with lots of people in it can actually be in those lanes. One of the other things that we can do to give priority for buses is called transit signal priority. Transit signal priority involves um, being able to detect when the bus is actually approaching the intersection and then giving it more green light or making the green light come earlier to get the bus through that intersection better. Um, and then finally, um, there are just basic signal retimings that we can do to make the corridor, the street in general, work and flow more efficiently. So we're also going to be able to put in some dedicated bike lanes on one side of the roadway and then cyclists will actually be able to use the bus lane, which is in one direction on the other side of the roadway. With these changes, we hope to actually improve the throughput along the entire corridor so that the whole corridor should flow relatively smoothly. We really think this is um, a major improvement that everybody can appreciate. Because it's a pilot, um, that means we're doing it with paint and with other more temporary materials that won't be um, as permanent as the materials we usually use. So what that means is that if we discover issues or things we'd like to change, we will be able to do that in hopes that we can modify the design if needed to get to a really good long-term solution. The City of Cambridge is working very closely with Watertown and we applied for a Bar Foundation grant to do this project. This project is also very closely linked to a Department of Conservation and Recreation project to improve the intersection of Fresh Pond Parkway and Mount Auburn Street. So together, this project really becomes possible.